Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Dam. Um, as always, this is Epic Ninja Bros. Um, and today I just want to start off uh, a little bit back here from the from the base. Um, it's actually kind of cool. Well, you could there for a second see a bit of the pyramid. But um, I've been doing, I, I'd say, qu quite a bit of work here. Um, I built a bunch of sections of the wall uh, so far. Uh, as you'll see when the trunk's loaded, it keeps going that way. Uh, there's not a hole there. That's just the trunk missing. Um, and I've begun to lay out the gatehouse and the, uh, the towers. Um, that's what we're going to be working on today. Um, but first, I just want to give you a quick update and show you kind of what I've done. Um, again, just copy with the space chamber here. A um, bunch of sections. This is one section and then a little bit more. Um, uh, if you're wondering why this tower is here, or what will be a tower, um, it's equal to the other side. Um, I've also cut out all the trees, uh, laid down this middle path, made everything the, the same amount of blocks. So if I just quickly jump down to the bottom here. Um, uh, if you're wondering why it's perfectly lipped like this is because this is exactly how uh, wide the bottom of the wall is. Um, again, the tower here. Uh, one thing we did uh, with the helmet that I totally forgot is when we empowered it and I gave it uh, um, night vision, is uh, I had to push a button on my keyboard. See, as it's nighttime, and if you look up, up here in the top right when I click the button, uh, you'll see it's now it's night vision, so which, which is really nice means I don't have to um, uh, sleep as often. Sorry about that, guys, but my uh, my game crashed there. I don't don't really know what happened, but um, yeah. So like I was saying, uh, been doing a lot of work, um, as you can see. Well, I think it's a decent amount of work. Um, we're gonna be doing the gatehouse today, and the um, at least I guess it'd be one quarter of the uh, probably half of the towers. Um, if you're wondering why these blocks are here the way I have it laid out, um, I, I, I'm kind of going to kind of copy what I did before. Uh, in a way, is, is kind of copy this uh, design here um, and every five blocks again. Uh, I think it should work nicely. Now, the thing is, I do want to make it taller um, than before. So, um, I may have to... I don't mean to disable the jetpack. I may have to end up, like, cutting off the design like he here and then just making it bigger like I have. Um, I've been looking on the internet for some pictures and I found a couple cool ones um, that I like. Uh, if you're wondering what this design is, again, it's exactly the same as one of these um, copied. Uh, but this is just kind of what I was thinking. Um, I'm gonna have a, a layer like like this type thing. And I think I'm gonna do it too wide in. Um, now, most of this like, I'm trying to go for a nice little 3D effect here, uh, where it looks layered or textured. Um, but we'll see how that turns out. Um, how did I have this? I think it's like this. And then maybe one more. Something like that. I, I don't want to just use stone brick. That's my problem. Like, if you look at this, it's pretty stone brick heavy, but there's definitely a lot of nice textures. You especially see the stone brick slabs. Um, and looking at this, it's very basic uh, and simple. Uh, but I do want to have an archway, um, like something like this. So what I'm probably going to do uh, for this next part is I'm going to put maybe one, one or two on each side of this, uh, of the wall sections. And I'll try to hash out some kind of design here that I like, and um, I'll kind of show you... Um, Little updates as I do, as I go about this. But again, I'm just kind of basing these off some pictures on the internet. If you want to look up Minecraft Castle or Gatehouse, um, that's kind of what I'm going to go off uh, and see if I can come up with some kind of cool shape. So we want some 3D depth and, uh, I don't know, something that makes it look epic. So when you walk in, it's like, oh yeah, because this is this is going to be a pretty massive castle. So I'll see you in a second. All right, so here's uh, me just filled in. Uh, one on each side. I didn't put the side pieces in. In fact, I missed some stairs there. But it gets the general idea through. Um, again, here, I'm just kind of trying to mess with this gatehouse. I, the picture I've been going off of, kind of just as for inspiration, um, they used upside down stairs here, and then I just kind of did proper way. And they have like some kind of archway here. Um, I'm not really too sure which way I like more. Um, but I'm going to mess around with uh, some of this, the archway here, and maybe some design. Um, I'm gonna need. I'm gonna try to make it go back farther uh, to get to add some more detail. So we'll see. Uh, I'll bring you back here for when I have some kind of a cool esque mini design, and then I'll update you kind of through the building process. 
All right, so uh, here's kind of something a little different. Um, I, tr I tried to make a cool pattern down here. Uh, instead of doing what I had said before, like uh, either stairs, uh, right side up or upside down, um, I tried doing both. And actually, I kind of like the way it looks. It looks extra bulky. Um, I also changed out this pillar for some slabs to get some different uh, color contrast in there. I'm trying to find a way to sneak in some more um, cobble to match in here because as you look in the wall, you see quite a bit of cobble in there. Um, especially in the walls. So I'm gonna see what I can do for sneaking that in. But uh, then I had an idea. I was just looking at this thinking, um, I tried some cobble in there and it didn't it didn't look good. So I'm like, oh, well, what about maybe if I try to run some lava in? Like if you can kind of picture it, lava comes flowing down from here, splits, if, it, if I can make it do that, and go down each way. Um, that might be kind of cool. So I'm gonna try to mess with that. And uh, yeah, it might just, like I might uh, have to push this all back one block and it might come down through here and right behind the arch, split, and then try to just go into the wall. I don't want it to come down in front here because I feel like that would take away from the look, but um, yeah, we'll see what I can come up with here. So I'll bring you guys back for when the lap, and I have uh, came up with something that looks good with lab at least. Um, yeah, so see you in a second. All right, guys, um, I'm liking how this is looking. Uh, moment of truth now. I think I laid the lava path correctly, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see how she flows. I did want it to come out here, and I don't think it overflows on the sides. Let's check. Let's sit back and watch. And quickly panic if it goes everywhere. Then she go down, split. Good. Down, and then over. Hopefully it doesn't overflow there. I'm not sure. It might go towards us. If it does, then I need to block it, and I think I can take it away. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, yeah, there we go. Doesn't look too bad. I think that's a... All right, look. Um, it's nice too because they get some some depth in here. Now this wall is a little bit plain, so I will. Uh, I gotta come up with something creative to spice in there. But yeah, I'm, I'm liking how this is looking so far. How's it look from the the ground? I didn't check that level up. You don't see the lava over top, but actually, are there any stairs that are clear? I wonder. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Glass stairs, maybe? What if you can chisel glass into stairs? You can definitely do four micro blocks, so maybe you can. I might check that out because if you could have, uh, like you can see right here, is where the lava is. Um, so you could have lava, like you could see from the bottom, that might be kind of cool. Or I could even put it in behind the pillars, but then it doesn't look as sturdy. Yeah. There's what the, I think that looks pretty cool, especially from a distance. If you saw that, um, I'm I maybe I'll continue or I'll try to make a little face here that makes it look like it's been out the lava. But I think on the sides here because um, it's an inter interesting dynamic how it kind of goes out. So I'm gonna need to put stuff in here. But the problem is if I have anything that, like lava, for instance, that flows out, um, it needs to make sure it only goes into either into here or uh, uh, or or back farther. So we'll see. Yeah, so I'm, I'm liking how this is looking. Uh, it looks pretty cool. Um, I think I'll, I'll try to do some more work now. And the problem is I also don't want to go too far back because of the way the wall looks. Um, so we'll see. Uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll do some more work here and um, see what I can come up with. See you in a second. All right, guys, another uh, mini update here. Uh, Alex and Connor are on with me. Uh, Yo. Nice to see. Yeah, very talkative. Um, so a little, this E, if you guys remember from the old... Uh, the old world there, the castle. I think I'm gonna put the E back in. Uh, the lava room here, I change it a little bit um, so it comes in. I will cover it so the air, uh, so you don't see the air blocks. Um, but yeah, I've kind of built up the sides here. I also extended the top a bit. Uh, this is the old height, I think, right? Oh no, one more taller. Than that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so if you look here, I did two blocks, and then this time I did. Again, the three in between, so the fourth is up. So it's just basically I repeated that the section over and over again, a couple more times uh, to make it taller. So then this will be the height of the gatehouse, which is pretty high. Uh, y 102 is sufficient enough. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of working my way out. The problem is by me extending it up and out because I continued the pattern, is now I have to uh, make this because I, I left an airspace around the e, the e here, uh, so it looks cool. Um, so I'm going to try to bring this back up and at the angle, kind of like what I did here, as 
I'm uh, set in a couple blocks, I go back, and I start coming out. Uh, we're going to try to replicate that on the top here with some kind of cool design. Um, yeah, so I'll bring you guys back again for when I have uh, somewhat of an update. Alright guys, this is the uh, final product. Um, as you can see, I've replaced the cobble E with the um, copper block E, like what I used to do uh, in the old world. Um, so this top part, uh, uh, there's a little bit of indecision that went into it. Um, I still feel like this is too flat, but uh, it definitely could change over time. Um, I tried to incorporate some more lava. I also made the decision to make the cutout here, uh, make it go farther in instead of straight across. I think that looks better. We can still keep the top section, which looks good. The, where is it? Right here, these little windows, uh, which will match up with this at that level. Still work, you can still look out. Um, I think that will look cool. So yeah, um, I'll probably, definitely off camera, I'll copy these kind of around the corner. And um, for the next episode, I'll show you what I have, what that looks like, uh, and how to incorporate it with the walls. Um, yeah, so that, this is going to probably be, that, this is it for the gatehouse. Um, and now I'm going to start working on the, I know it looks bad from the back, but start working on the, the side towers. So let me get to, let me get some stuff together, and um, I'll be over there in a second all right guys so uh, here's the one kind of one quarter of the bottom piece of the tower um, I was fiddling around with it for quite a while and I couldn't come up with anything that I like too much but um yeah uh, so these towers if you're curious are 12 wide uh, the radius is 12 um, and then plus the middle block so if it's 25 diameter and 25 diameter uh, which not, I'm, what, I'm trying to make a pattern that's pretty simple um, because uh, for instance here I'm it actually only goes it would cut into the wall so I'm just gonna blend it in nicely um, so this pattern should be able to accomplish that um, and I want to be able to do it on any of the four corners so they might they're gonna be pretty simple because just for instance over here um, this other tower where it will be um, right here uh, since it's a different shape, since that one's a corner tower, this one still needs to work, yeah, even though it only has like the front and it'll be back sections, uh, rather than the sides. So I want to have four um, quadrants that are all the same, ideally. So that's that's kind of the look I'm I'm going for. Um, so yeah, that, that's like the bottom. That was really fast. Uh, of the one corner. Um, again, I'm going to try to do a repetitive pattern, so I'm not going to do the same thing here. I might do a like a level like this, um, one that has a little more detail, uh, and then back to this pattern and kind of go all the way up until I get near the top. Uh, and I want the towers to be pretty tall, like at least probably taller than the gatehouse, so maybe maybe like up here. So we'll see. Um, I'll bring you guys back for when I have uh, a bit more done on this um, this quadrant. Yeah. So see you in a second. All right, guys. So mini update here. Um, I brought over a capacitor bank and a wireless charger just so when I'm flying around here I don't have to quickly uh, be always going back to the pyramid to recharge. Um, so as for the pattern, I did, as you saw before, I had this bottom layer and then I just made this really simple basic layer in here. As you can see there's a whole bunch of just stone brick. But if you kind of like zoom out here, um, that is plenty busy enough um, for one, for a tower. Uh, and then I, if you're wondering, like, oh, what's this big ugly part for? I just continued this, the easiest section of wall up just to get a reference in, of how tall I want uh, this tower to be. And I think this is sufficient enough. Like, if you picture, I don't know if this is where it's going to be, but, like, kind of like, like this. Like, this is the top of the tower. I just fly back here quick. Take a look. I, I think that's, I think it's tall enough compared to the gatehouse, the wall. I don't know. Yeah. So yeah, that that's how um that's how high it's gonna be. So as you can see, it's higher by maybe about ten blocks, fifteen blocks. Uh, when there's no gatehouse around uh, near here, the I would say that this is def probably tall enough. So if you're on the wall, uh, I mean there'll be an entrance into here, but it'd be like way up here still. So actually, what's this? Just to check this block height. So we're at. If you look over right in here. Uh, y93 up to Y108 so pretty good uh, 15 blocks I think it's sufficient enough so yeah I'm gonna build unfortunately all this up here again uh, up to the top and I'm 
unfortunately, this is taking me a little bit longer to build than I thought I had anticipated, so this will probably be it for the episode after I show you the finished quarter of the wall. So yeah, um, I'll show you what it looks like when um, this is done. So see you in a second. Welcome back. There we go. Um, tower's done. All filled out. I'm not thrilled with the top there. I ended up just extending it a whole bunch because originally I just had it uh, like I had before. Stop two blocks, but it too looked too much like a, um, a circular pillar. So that is going to change at the top. I, I don't like the way that looks at all, but I am unfortunately out of time for today. So yeah, there's um, one quarter, is what the back looks like, uh, of one tower. Um, luckily, I'll be able to use the space chamber blocks again and the builder and um, just copy them quick again. Um, actually, I'll probably make more blocks and more uh, space cards so I can interchange them in the builder whenever I want. Because um, then I'll be able just to place the builder in the correct spot and just boom, instantly it'll build everything. And I might have to do a bit of uh, transition into the wall. But um, yeah, that should be pretty quick. Um, and then I'll be able to copy and paste it over on all the sides. Um, yeah. But first, I'm going to, as you can see up here, almost out of jetpack, jetpack fuel, uh, go back to the pyramid, refill, and um, yeah, fix the top here, and we'll get building again. So because of um, this coming week of spring break, um, the episodes may be a bit shorter because I'm actually going to be going away for a bit. So I'm going to try to do two things. So for Wednesday's episode, we're probably going to do a little update about this world. Um, we're going to go to some other people's um, bases, see what they've built so far, and then I'm going to try to hopefully finish up the towers here. So I'll build both the towers. Um, do the gatehouse, at least most, uh, the outside of the gatehouse, not the inside. And then maybe just start the next wall over here and the wall that keeps going over there in the journey map. Over here. Yeah. Finish up the, this tower, finish this tower, do the outside of the gatehouse. Hopefully for Friday's episode, if I can manage that. So yeah, um, thanks again for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.